and gentlemen, my name is Harry, I'm not years old, and today I'll talk about the human body in space. There are seven parts. One, introductions. Two, space radiation. Three, isolation and confinement. Four, distance from Earth. Five, gravity fields. Six, hostile close environment. And seven, conclusion. So let's talk about it. One, introduction. NASA is researching risks for Mars mission, which are grouped into five human space flight hazards related to the stressor they place on the body. This can be summarized with the acronyms RICH, short for space radiation, isolation and confinement, distance from Earth, gravity fields, and hostile close environments. Two, space radiation. Space radiation is one of the main health hazards of space light. It is dangerous because it has sufficient energy to change or break DNA molecule, which can damage or kill cells. Three, isolation and confinement. Over extended period of time, it can even affect the ability to make decisions. Scientists are concerned that altered gravity and radiation combined with isolation and confinement could pose real psychological hardship, leading for the danger for the crew in space. Fourth, distance from Earth. Why do you think getting to space is so difficult when it's only 62 miles away? Answers, space is 62 vertical miles away. It takes a lot of energy to overcome gravity for that distance and gain the speed required to stay in orbit, approximately 17,500 miles per hour once you've arrived. 5. Gravity fields. When we go to space, there's no gravity, so the blood will go up to your head. If your eyes are red and you have a headache, then don't worry because that was blood pressure and astronauts exercise every day because if they don't, their bone will break. So we need to make gravity by making central focal force because central focal force equals artificial gravity equals gravity. 6. Hostile Close Environments Living in this type of environment affects the body in three important ways. Loss of proprioception, chain flood and distribution, and deterioration of the musculoskeletal system. And finally, conclusions. I believe that in the future, the human will live in space and explore more about space. So we need to make the technology to protect our body from the space hazards. Thank you for listening.